Welcome to Global Ocean TV, brought to you by the Terramar Project. I am today's host, Rob Foos. Here are the headlines. Celebrating 30 years, the Nairobi Convention remains a model for ocean foresight. In 1985, the West Indian Ocean was one of the cleanest oceanic regions on the planet, and 30 years later, despite rapid population growth and urbanization up and down its African shoreline, it still is. This is in no small part due to the foresight of East Africa's coastal countries, small island developing states in Madagascar, when they convened to sign the Nairobi Convention three decades ago. They recognized that their future prosperity relied on the sustainable and intelligent development of the great swath of blue lapping at their shores. And it still does. Team Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing wins the Volvo Ocean Race. Overall victory for Team Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing had actually been confirmed upon the culmination of the previous leg from Lisbon to Lorient nearly two weeks ago, but skipper Ian Walker and his crew may only have accepted the reality of their triumph when they crossed the finish line in Gutenberg. And even then, it did not quite seem real to Walker, who becomes the first British sailor to skipper a winning team in the Volvo Ocean Race. Congratulations. 10 Lessons Learned About Tackling Plastic Ocean Waste to sum what a group of experts said in an online debate on plastic pollution, one, we can't keep up with waste management. Two, we need action from governments and businesses. Three, it's an economic as well as an environmental issue. Four, designers and recyclers often feel helpless. Five, there are global solutions to this global problem. Six, there are also local solutions. Seven, we have to eliminate the ick factor. Eight, labeling plastic bags like tobacco is not helpful. 9. A ban might not be best. And 10. Together, we can take plastics off the market. 3D printing is proven in space, but not in the water. While there is a definite enthusiasm for anything space-related, it surprised those behind the Deep Z project that we were already beginning to explore the capabilities of 3D printing outside of Earth's atmosphere before we had finished testing those capabilities here on Earth. Watermark, Part 1. In this episode of World Ocean Radio, the first of a four-part series, host Peter Neal will argue that what is required is a complete overhaul of the water inventory, including measurements for its use, in a new green economy. Check out these stories in the Daily Catch and tune back in tomorrow for the best ocean, river, and lake news from around the world. Thank you. Did you enjoy this broadcast from Global Ocean TV? Stay up to date with the latest ocean, river, and lake news by subscribing to our channel.